So we were told not to film and I respect that because I went in there and I didn't ask in the first place. So for future notices, I'm going to ask ahead of time. Because last time they didn't have a problem with it. We saw the same guy. He was really nice. So no, we stopped filming after, what was it? Uh, brows. And I will show you what's in the haul. So I was just going through his choices and the primer he chose has avocado oil. I'm allergic to avocado and papaya because they both contain natural rubber latex. So what primer do you want me to use? Um, do you want me to list some of them? Yes, please. I have Tarte. Uh -huh. I have Bare Minerals. Uh -huh. I have Urban Decay. Okay. Um, the primer I'm using now is the Too Faced. Uh -huh. uh, I can't think of any others. Do you want me to just send you a few pictures when I get home? No, let's go with Tarte. Are you sure? Sure. Okay. Good morning, it is the next day after my uncle picked out my makeup. And we're gonna go ahead and apply the makeup and wear it up until I have my dinner date tonight. So, I have the bag right here and I'm gonna go ahead and pull everything out. Now, for primer, he chose the Tarte Poreless Mattifying Primer. I cannot use this primer because it has avocado oil in it. If you read the back where the ingredients are, it says avocado oil right here. I'm allergic to avocado and papaya because of my latex allergy. So I asked him, what other primer would you like to see me use? And he said the other Tarte primer that he was actually looking for the entire time. So this is gonna go back for sure because I cannot use it and I'm not gonna have an allergic reaction. So this is the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. And we're just gonna put that where I have larger pores. I love this primer to be honest. It's very smoothing, it's very, it's not very silky feeling like you would with dimethicone and the other kinds of primers. So I'm very happy about that. I do like this primer, it helps me a lot. So I've already primed my skin and we're gonna move straight into foundation, which he chose the Flesh Firm Flesh Thick Stick Foundation in the shade Milk. Now, I've never tried this brand before, but it's a very small container. This has 16, 16 ounces or 4.6 grams of product. It is a stick foundation. Let's see how much you get. Not a lot for $18. That's pretty much my skin. So let's go ahead and apply it. We're going to blend it out with a Real Technique sponge on this side and if we can't blend it at all we're going to go ahead and use the tarte brush from the last video so the foundation is blended out and i feel like i had to work a lot harder with this i don't normally use stick foundations but this one's very thick and I've used the NYX one before. I've played around with the Anastasia one. Those were smoother. They were more along the lines of like a cream contour kind of a thing. But this is very thick. It's kind of like the Fenty matchsticks. So I'm not sure how I feel about this. I'll see how it wears. For concealer, he chose the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in... I'm gonna say this wrong. Chantilly, Chant Chantilly, or however you say it. I've never tried this before. I did kind of lean him in the direction with the shade. And as far as the foundation goes, it looks like it matches on camera, but my neck is a bit darker. It's also not as pink. And this, oh my gosh, I don't even wanna know how yellow this is. Oh, this concealer is gonna be darker than my face. And this is the lightest one they carry. This is the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in Ghost. I'm not looking forward to, see, to using this. I've seen videos where this is just absolutely terrible. Okay, I'm gonna add more concealer to both sides and see if I can build up coverage 
I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, this concealer on camera looks not too bad. You can see my under eye bags. In person, I don't like it. I can see the entirety of my shadow. It's almost as if I put nothing there. I mean, it's better than it was before, not gonna lie. But also, I feel like there's this weird shadowy thing going on here. It kind of looks like a crescent moon where the foundation and the concealer are separated. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I just don't, this concealer is not for me. It's not doing as much for coverage. Maybe it's just me, maybe other people like it more because of other reasons, but it's not for me. I'm not gonna keep it. So we're gonna go in with the powder now. Let me just... We're gonna bake. And I'm scared too. But I'm gonna lightly powder the rest of my face so I can, oh wait. Oh. No, I can't. I have, crap, crap, crap. Crap. Oh, get off my, get off my cheeks, get off my cheeks. Oh. Okay, okay. I forgot. I had a cream blush and a cream contour. So we're gonna start with the cream contour. This was on sale. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundation in Foundation 1.0 and Soft Contour. I'm not gonna use the foundation side, but I will use the contour side. And I'm scared. Okay, here we go. Those of you who don't know, I don't cream contour because I suck at it. I'm, pro I'm not gonna keep this because I don't know how to cream contour. We just saw that. And also, I don't really like this shade on me. I like more cooler toned, and this is very cool toned, surprisingly, but it's not for me. Now we have cream blush, which I'm not happy about. This is the Stila Convertible Color Lip and Cheek Cream in Camilla. On camera, it looks like I put contour above my contour. In person, I just look naturally something. I... I'll see. I'll see. I don't normally use cream blushes, but I'll, I'll, I'll see. So, is that the last cream product I have before? Yes, cool. Now I can set my face. I don't think. Wow, no, okay. Okay, this powder is a no. It is all, you can't see it because I'm white. It is everywhere, all over my pants, all over everything I have sitting in front of me. A lot of people are saying this has terrible flashback. Considering how much whiter I look on camera than in person, and I have my ring light right there, yeah, this is gonna have really bad flashback. I do not recommend this powder. It's everywhere! I'm normally dramatic, but I wear all black clothing, so anything that gets all over my black clothing, I don't like. Bye bye Ugh, I feel so dramatic right now. Okay, oh my god, my under eyes just look so cakey. My under eyes don't normally look like this. Should have done lip scrub. Let's go ahead and bronze. This is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. I have this, except in the normal, just chocolate soleil. Okay, wait, before I say anything about the bronzer, this foundation's not, not happening. 
Nope, incorrect. My pores look terrible. My nose looks terrible. My under eye, my for everything. No, incorrect. Okay, this is the milk chocolate and this is the chocolate. The chocolate looks a lot more cool tone than the milk chocolate. I'm gonna go ahead and return the milk chocolate. I do like the product as you can see, but the milk chocolate is just not my shade in it. So. It does look very nice though, but I can't tell if what I'm seeing is the contour stick or the bronzer. Blush we already did. I'm going to see how the blush is. Oh God, I don't want to do this part. We're gonna do brows. I'm gonna end up dragging Anastasia. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And it was right after we were trying to pick a uh, gel for my brows that we got told we couldn't fill anymore. So, oh, there's a spoolie on one end. This is the shade Ebony. I will get this in a different shade. So I'll probably go one shade down, dark brown. It looks perfect on camera, but I felt like I was going way too light-handed. I felt like going a shade down will let me go heavier like I like to go with my brows. And next we have a clear brow gel. Pretty standard, you know? It's just a clear brow gel. I'm sorry, I don't care how well something locks your brows into place. The ingredients list goes, and it smells by the way, the ingredients list goes water, alcohol. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to eyes. So, for the tool, he chose the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe brush collection for the eyes. We will be using this, and I'll be telling you which one I'm using and what they're supposed to be. The eyelid primer he chose was the Morphe eyelid primer, which I did play around a little bit with it. The eyeshadow palettes he chose were also Morphe X Jaclyn Hill. So Ring the Alarm, which is the red color story. And he chose Dark Magic. I'm gonna go in with the JH41, which is an all over lid brush, into Poof from Dark Magic to go ahead and set that primer in place. I don't understand why primers and I and face makeup do this, but I don't know if you can see, it's kind of cr crumbling away at the foundation. It, it's not the primer, because it happens with me for everything. Is it just that you're not supposed to get them to touch, or, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, going in with the JH32, which is a transition blender brush. I'm gonna go into Rush, from the Ring the Alarm palette into the crease for a transition shade. Something that I, one of the drama channels that I do watch called Here for the Tea, they said that if it's, this is a $15 palette and if a few shades aren't good, then it's workable. But if they're all crap, that's not good. But I'm not seeing a problem with this shade. It's, if I'm honest here, it's kind of like the metallics from the subculture. You do have to go back in a few times just to make sure. But it's not terrible. But I'll withhold my judgment. I'm gonna go in with the same brush and tap into Framed from the Ring of the Alarm palette. This one is like next level. Okay, this is with packing it on the brush and then blending it out. That's, that's not good. I'm gonna go in with the uh, JH33. I'm gonna take 
from Dark Magic on the Beast Mode Blender Brush into the crease to try and blend these a bit more. I, I want to give Jacqueline a fair shot. This is not going to be a good eye look at all. It's not. And I apologize because I like to try and make things work. Moho. Moho is what we say in the outer V just to deepen it, see if we can get that darkness back. No, this is just not good. <sighs> okay, I'll go to the lower lash line with Moho on the JH33, which is the eyeliner, uh, not 33, 43, which is the eyeliner smudge brush. I'm going to use the JH42 and I'm going to go into a shimmer shade. Okay, so I'm going to use Power Cut. No, come on, Jacqueline. I gave my sister this for Christmas. I was there like, oh, this is so good. This is going to be good. Don't worry. Because I was, I was hoping. I'm going to give these another shot. And I will get back to you on if I will keep it or not. I will leave that in the description box below if I'm keeping this or not. If I'm not keeping it, I will tell you right now. It's because these do not blend well. Maybe it's the eyelid primer. I will give the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it's the eyelid primer. Maybe it's that I have too much on my face. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I will play around with it more and I will leave you down below what I'm going to do with them. That being said... We still have other things to review. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of the, oh, I just ripped this box. I'm taking out the highlight so that I can put the glitter on my face. The highlight is from Morphe. It is the High Impact um, Illuminator in Lit. I'm just gonna use the, the mirror for this right now. The glitter he chose was the NYX Glitter Goals Liquid Eyeshadow in Poppy. That's not bad, actually. Hold up. Let's, what is this? This is the JH41. I'm going to go ahead and just... Oh, 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 fluff. What the hell is in this? Oh, this burns. Oh God. Oh God. Ouch. Ouch. Frick. Oh my God, get off my eyeball. Get off my eyeball. Ah, ah, ha, ha, ha. Shit. Ow. Oh my God. No, okay, I need to look that up. What the hell? What is this called? Later, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. No, 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 I just need, I need to look something up. I'm using my other phone. I'm looking up the ingredients in this. Shh, that burns. I'm not allergic to anything in here, which makes me wonder, well, not that I know of, makes me wonder why I had that reaction. So I'm gonna put it on this eye because this eye I rubbed raw yesterday trying to get glitter off of it. Also NYX's glitter. But um, I'm not going to put a lot of it on. I'm scraping off the excess at this point. Because I'm scared. Okay, just a dot. Just a dot. Okay, it was because my eye was rubbed raw. Okay, we're good, we're good. No, we're not. No, we are not. Holy sh shite. Why does that hurt so much? Crap. Get off my eye. Get off my eye. Shoot. Oh god, and that was so pretty with the freaking color combo. Ow. Oh no. Goodbye. No. Crap. Jeez, I feel like I'm bleeding. We're going back into the Jaclyn Hill palettes. Uh, does this ring the alarm? No, this is dark magic. I can't do that. I'm sorry. I, that hurt too much. I'm not worth it. We're going to go in with um, 
Lolly from Ring the Alarm just on the lid because oh my god I hate that no I'm not using that ever again that hurt it was such a pretty color too with this look we're gonna move on to eyeliner now oh my god that's the scariest crap I've done all day <laughs> he chose the epic ink eyeliner which I already had in my collection so this will be going back and I will just be using the one in my collection so wings are on it's very easy to do a wing with this I do like it these are very long wings also so it's gonna be a very dramatic look but I obviously like it if it's my collection this wing is wonky so of course keep the mascara, he chose the Benefit They're Real, and he did a mini size because I told him to get a mini size because mascaras go bad really fast, and I'm just I'm gonna start getting the habit of just buying a mini size. I don't like it. <laughs> it's doing basically nothing for my lashes. The lashes he chose are House of Lashes Juliet's. They're huge, and I'm gonna let them dry, my eyelashes dry. So in the meantime, let's put on some highlighter. Like I said, Morphe, lit. Gonna take a fan brush. This is awful, I hate my makeup. And it's too dark for me. I'm keeping the brushes for sure just so you guys know, because I'm not the kind of person to use brushes and then return them if they're bad. I would just rather keep bad brushes and use them for SFX. And for lash glue, we're gonna be using the Tardis Pro Lash Adhesive. I already checked to make sure this didn't have latex in it. I'm double checking. Yep, no latex. Oh, it's a brush one! I do like the style though, they're very pretty. So, I'm not the type of person to re return used lashes either, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna return the lash glue either. It's the second to last thing is lipstick, which I'm super excited about. Cause they sell Sugar Pill in Ulta now, and this is the Sugar Pill Liquid Lip Color in Vertigo. Look how pretty, okay. Shut up and put the lipstick on. This is a really pretty color, but it stings. The last thing is setting spray, which I think I'm gonna like. This is the Too Faced Do You Tutti Fruity setting spray. This has such a nice mister. I, I just sprayed that all over my table, okay. This is a completed look. I know, it's pretty, a little bit all over the place. I hate my makeup so much. <laughs> I can't do this. I can't do it. I'm wiping this all off. Guys, I finished filming the makeup 30 minutes ago. My face feels so heavy and I don't know why. The concealer, as you can see, is doing nothing for my eyes. It's creasing. The foundation is doing nothing. I mean, it's covering, but it's bad coverage. The lipstick is patchy. Eyeshadows didn't blend. But I'm going to give them another chance anyway. You know what? No, I'm not, because the, I don't think the color stories are that great either. The pigment's fine, but the color stories are nothing new. They're nothing interesting to me. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring them back anyway. The primer I will keep. I will keep the primer. I will also keep the setting spray because I love that mister. And the blush, blush is fine, but I need to take this off. I'm not even going to make it through an entire day because I just, everything feels so heavy on my face and I do not want to break out from this. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of me, please click the subscribe button and comment down below what you think of the makeup. Do you like it? Do you think I should give the Jaclyn Hill palettes another try? Let me know and I'll see you in the next video.